breaks out on the campus of a legacy elementary school in Kenner. Kenner officials say there is extensive damage at Washington Elementary after a fire early this morning. WGSU reporter Shay O'Connor on the campus now with what's next for the school that was already set to closure due to the Jefferson Parish consolidation plan. Shay. Gina, because of that consolidation plan, the students from Washington Elementary will now have to attend Bunch Elementary this upcoming school year. Now, advocates for the school, they tell me they've been working tirelessly to reverse that decision. So as you can imagine, this fire this morning is very disheartening for them. I came here literally in tears. Um, it broke my heart that all we have fought for that, um, you know, something like this could could happen. Supporters of Washington Elementary heartbroke it over yet another blow to their beloved school. I don't want to be speculative, um, but I would hope that uh, this was not a planned deal. Advocates have been rallying to keep the school open amid Jefferson's parish wide consolidation plan. In May, students from the predominantly black elementary that's been around for about 90 years had their last classes on campus, told they'd have to attend Bunch Elementary in August. Weeks later, neighbors woke up to the smell of fire and officials extinguishing flames. No one is in there. I don't know how it caught a fire. It wasn't an electrical fire. I live right across the street. You can smell the smoke in my house. Including Shelby White, who says nearly all of his kids attended Washington the first known black school in Jefferson Parish. It's kind of hard to watch the school catch a fire and go down and be closed for what purpose, I don't know. Kenner Fire Department says the fire was predominantly in the cafeteria and gymnasium areas. Fire officials believe the fire started in a light ballast inside the ceiling of this building. Foul play is not suspected. It's, it's heartbreaking, heartbreaking, but it's not the end. It can be rebuilt. You know, it will be rebuilt. It, it has to be rebuilt. And Gina and Sella, I should note that advocates for the school, they actually want an independent investigation when it comes to the fire earlier this morning. This is what they tell me they want. They tell me that they want the school to be designated as a historic site so that they can restore the school and keep it intact. And tonight they're actually supposed to be meeting at the Kenner Council on Aging on this very topic at 6.30 p.m. You can visit our website, WDSU.com, for more information on that. Reporting live from Kenner, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.